On your wedding day. Today is a day you will always remember, the greatest in anyone's life. You'll start the day off just two people in love and end it as husband and wife. It's a brand new beginning, the start of a journey, with moments to cherish and treasure. And although there'll be times when you both disagree, these will surely be outweighed by pleasure. You'll have heard many words of advice in the past, when the secrets of marriage were spoken. But you know that the answers lie hidden inside, where the bond of true love lies unbroken. So live happy forever as lovers and friends, it's the dawn of a new life for you. As you stand there today with love in your eyes, from the moment you whisper, I do. And with luck, all your hopes and all your dreams can be real, may success find its way to your hearts. Tomorrow can bring you the greatest of joys, but today is a day it all starts. Thank you all for coming to celebrate Lauren and John's wedding. First of all, I'm sure you'll agree, Lauren, you look absolutely stunning. And I can't say how happy I was that you wanted me to walk you down the aisle. I'm so proud of you and the woman that you've become. I believe, John, <laughs> you have to keep persuading Lauren to go out with you before she accepted. <laughs> If you would have continued to try and win her over, if you had heard of the saying, if you want to know what a girl looks like when she's older, look at her mother. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, she's not like me. <laughs> I know they're going to take care of each other. Lauren told me that when they were both ill, John still managed to go downstairs and made Lauren some toast and a drink. However, the minute John thought he had Covid, Lauren couldn't pack her bags quick enough and come to my house. <laughs> to be fair though, she did have a few wedding things going on. Joking aside, I couldn't wish for a better husband for Lauren and I wish you both every happiness. you all now to join me in a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Dowson. I, John William Dowson. Take you, Lauren Diane Bentham. Take you, Lauren Diane Bentham. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I promise to love you forever. I promise to love you forever. To be open, honest, and faithful to you. To be open, honest, and faithful to you. To support your dreams. To support your dreams. And respect your thoughts and feelings. And respect your thoughts and feelings. I promise to stand with you. I promise to stand with you. As we share this life as we share this life and cherish the memories we make together and cherish the memories we make together I Lauren Diane Benson I Lauren Diane Benson take you John William Dowson take you John William Dowson to be my wedded husband to be my wedded husband I promise to give you my love and friendship. I promise to give you my love and friendship. And to be there for you. And to be there for you. When you need me most. When you need me most. To laugh and cry with you. To laugh and cry with you. To trust and confide in you. To trust and confide in you. To comfort and support you. To comfort and support in you. All that I have, I share with you. For all that I have, I share with you. I promise to respect you. I promise to respect you. And be faithful always. And to be faithful always. These promises I make to you. These promises I make to you. For my rest of my life.
And now, on to the main attraction, the bride, <laughs> my wife, Lauren. <laughs> she looks absolutely stunning today. <laughs> but I think she looks beautiful every day. <laughs> well, most days. <laughs> She's worked so hard to plan this wedding, so I'm really grateful for that. I do appreciate it, although I think you had your doubts some days. <laughs> First time me and Lauren really spoke was about seven and a half years ago. All right. uh, it, it was at a very romantic location. We were stood on the banking with a lovely view of the sea. Sorry, lovely view of the seaside turn at Skegness Stadium. <laughs> After that night, we were in contact regularly. Before long, I made it known to her that I was interested in her and asked her if she felt the same way. And she replied with, no. <laughs> You're not my type. You live too far away. I don't want to date someone from racing. And the list went on. <laughs> Lauren, a simple no thank you would have done. I didn't need a bulletproof list of what was wrong with me. But we kept in touch. And eventually, she realised how perfect I am in every way. <laughs> or she didn't get any better offers. <laughs> and we arranged a date. Lauren picked the restaurant. It was one mile from her house and 120 miles from my house. <laughs> <laughs> but I still went. And from then on, we've been inseparable. Bonding over our main hobbies of eating, sleeping and holidays. <laughs> And I wouldn't change that for the world. <laughs> that version of the story was mainly for Lauren's friends and family. <laughs> now I'm going to try to retell the story of how we met in a way that my friends will understand. <laughs> the rest of you may not really understand, but just turn away, I'll just go with it. So, do you know what's coming, Lauren? <laughs> There was all these lasses in the world that I thought were pure cush. Even if they were rough as muck, I still thought they were lush. In Walls End, Biker and Whitley Bay, all the girls were pure classy. But we do all make mistakes, and I chose this Northwest lassie. So I met this lass from Preston where I asked her out on a date, and she said, OK. She was like, oh, you're such a prat. I was like, hey, yeah, send us your Snapchat. <laughs> Cooks and tell that she was a stock guy in Iraq and she obviously couldn't resist this gorilla, Silverback. Gangster, gangster, I'm a pure lover. I wouldn't mess you around, because I think I know your brother. <laughs> we started out at Bath, but it was our racing school. I always used to beat him, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> she said, well, that's pure cush. You can come back to mine, because you're proper lush. Well, we didn't stop chatting until the break of dawn, and we sent some dodgy texts via mobile phone. <laughs> And she was like, well, didn't show your mirrors. I was like, of course I won't, man. <laughs> Sing along. <laughs> All the lasses in the world think you're pure cush. Come on. Even if you're rough as muck, I still thought they were lush. Was in bike and Whitley Bay, all the girls were pure classy. But we do all make mistakes, and I chose this Northwest lassie. <laughs> I'm afraid there's more. <laughs> so I met this lass for a meal at eight. She had a top notch body, there was no debate. Slightly bent front teeth, but she was belter. I took her for a date at a local pizza seller. After the date, I knew I was sold. Now let's make a serious get together and grow old. And straight away, we were laughing and joking, and I was like, were we all pure smoking? I've never met a last like her before, who I thought was perfect, until I heard her snore. She said, I'm not the first, but I was better than the past, so I thought, well, fuck it, I think I'll have a blast. <laughs> then I got to know her, and I realised she was crackers. We should have gone travelling, we'd have loved it as backpackers. And look at us now, we have a happy life, and it's even better now that I can call your wife. Aww. Now please be upstanding. And raise up your glass for my beautiful wife, this Lancashire lass. <laughs>
<laughs> different from the rest. Diamonds on her finger, and she always looks her best.